In this video, I'll tell you three reasons why you shouldn't buy the iPhone 14. Number one, the screen. The iPhone 14 screen is good apart from one major flaw. The refresh rate is only 60 Hz. So the screen refreshes 60 times per second. iPhone 14 still feels smooth, but the 120 Hz screen would be a lot smoother and better, especially for gaming. If you have never used a 120 Hz screen, you probably are fine with the iPhone 14 screen. Another problem with the screen is not that big, but still worth mentioning. The screen is not so good in sunlight, as the screen's peak brightness is 800 nits, which is still good, but you're not going to be able to use the phone that easily in direct sunlight. If you want a better screen, you should buy the iPhone 14 Pro, or some high-end Android phone such as the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, or if you don't care about the brightness, you can get the 120Hz screen phone for under 500 euros. Number 2. Camera Zoom iPhone 14 has only 5x zoom in photos and 3x zoom in videos. The zoom is not good because there is no telephoto camera, but instead an ultra-wide camera. It is annoying that I can't zoom well enough to objects a bit further away, especially because my old phone, the iPhone XS, had 10x zoom in photos. But the iPhone 14's camera still has great features such as the action mode which stabilizes shaky video. Action mode is very good unless you're in low light. The cinematic mode is also nice to use. But if you still want better zoom, you should go for the iPhone 14 Pro or something like Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra with 100x zoom. Number 3. Small difference to iPhone 13. The iPhone 14 is very similar to the iPhone 13 and the upgrade is the smallest that the iPhone has ever had. There are only 3 main differences. iPhone 14 has crash detection which detects if you've been in a car crash based on audio and sensors. The second difference is SOS via satellite. So if you are in a place with no cell connections and you are in an emergency, you can contact help with satellite connection. The third difference is action mode, which stabilizes video footage when it is turned on. Also, with the iPhone 14, you can now record cinematic mode footage in 4K. Despite these reasons, the iPhone 14 is still a very good phone. You should buy it only if it's in discount, because of the small differences to iPhone 13. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and drop a like plus comment. See you in the next Chiaptech video.